Hi, I'm Catherine Sutherland. And I'm David J. Fielding. And you're listening to our interview about The Order on gogoodman.com.au. David, you were one of the first involved as a writer. How confident were you in making something with all these actors that was different to Power Rangers but still embraced by the fandom? Did you incorporate an element of cheesiness as a nostalgic touch? No, no, no. Uh, we, we made a conscious effort to sort of uh, stay away from that because what we really wanted to do was make sure that we created a project that um, really sort of highlights the other talents that these wonderful actors have because we know that they are uh, uh, much more talented and, and sometimes, I mean, some of the stuff that they were able to do on Power Rangers uh, was just for a specific genre and we really wanted to give them a chance to sort of stretch and to... Uh, to take on a role that, that uh, the fans have, may not have, have seen them in before. So uh, as far as cheesiness, no, we, we, we stayed away from that as, as far as we could. So, so we, we, were you confident in making something that the, that the fans were going to embrace when we know all these actors from Power Rangers, but we're seeing them in a completely different light? We're not seeing them as teenage superheroes anymore? Were you confident in the fans jumping on board? Um. That was that was our our hope and and our, our great wish is that you know the the fans would uh, embrace it as as much as they have and so far everything is is um, uh, falling into place and uh, we're very happy with the result and uh, mm-hmm. it's a uh, it's a great opportunity for us. So, Catherine, you're uh, <laughs> I want to say a pretty gentle person. What was your first impression of the script? Oh, I always wanted to play a character like this, to be honest with you. I got to be a little bit evil on Power Rangers, but um, no, I I, uh, I love how complex they've made the characters. Um, there's a lot more than just action in this movie. So um, I, I was excited to take it on and, and try something a little different, you know, be a little edgier. Can you tell us anything about your character? Am I allowed to, David? <laughs> um... I th- yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, uh, you could probably tell them uh, your character's name. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I think at this point we're sort of like being very hazy on the affiliation, though. We're not really sure. Yes. Either. Yes. Okay. So. Yes. Which side we're on is going to be remain to be seen. Yes. Um, my character's name is Erica. Yeah. And she is um, kind of the queen bee, I guess. She's very. Um, She's very cold and calculating, but you don't always know that about her. She's very restrained. Um, she comes across very elegant. Um, she's very um, proficient. Well, all of all of the cast actually has skills in and, profi- and proficient in a certain skill. Um, and she is well. That's all I can tell you without giving anything away. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do okay, David? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Erica's great because she's she's been hiding a secret from her friends. Yes, they, there's some there's a twist in there that you uh, when I was reading the script, I was like, oh, no way! It was so fun. And Karen kept telling me, wait till you get to page twenty five or whatever it was. And I'm like, what's gonna happen? She's like, just keep reading. And then I'm like, oh no way! <laughs> so, wow, yeah, so it's, it's, really like a, it's like a full on movie script. How long's the script? How many pages was it? Uh, I think the last revision of the script we did ended up being around 119 pages, wow. uh, maybe a little bit less than that, maybe 117. Uh, so we're, we're looking at a feature length, uh, two hour movie. Wow. And Karen and David were very, um, they have been working on this project for a long time. So there's been a lot of back and forth and a lot of, um, revisions and they've been very diligent about it, about making sure that we really have something wonderful to show you guys so David you've talked about not being regularly involved in Power Rangers because they just repeated your lines over and over how have you embraced this community and how they embraced you I mean you've you've been on the on the convention circuit for quite a while now and now you're like one of the people in charge of this whole project how have you embraced this and how, how have all the other guys embraced you um, well, I, I guess the the best way I can say that is that uh, last weekend I was in a convention at Amarillo, and when David Yost and I were doing a Q and A panel, one of the women in the audience uh, asked us if we could equate our time on Power Rangers to a fairy tale. Which fairy tale would we choose? And uh, uh, the way I feel about it is, I'm sort of like Sleeping Beauty because. <laughs> 
my, my character was filmed one day and then uh, they recycled the footage over and over and I just went in to do voices and then I just kind of like wasn't involved anymore after that. So I kind of went to sleep and uh, was gone for a while. And uh, in about 2011, when I started to do uh, conventions and uh, went to the, my first Power Morphicon in 2014, it really was sort of like waking back up and uh, being introduced to these uh these friends and family that, that I've, I've been missing for like 20 years. So every, every time I get to go to a convention and, and see these people once again, I mean, it's, it's just a, it's just a fantastic and, and fun thing to do. So I'm very grateful for it. It's, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. There's something like 18 Power Ranger actors involved in, in this production, in this movie. Did, did anyone decline the invitation and who was the most reluctant? We, we had we did have one person turn us down, but that's simply because the the scheduling wasn't right. So I mean, um, uh, I, I guess that's the the way that we we address that. I mean, uh, we we tried to. There was a involve. couple of people. Isn't there a couple of people that are, are going to be in the movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. That weren't able to be like like Jason Narvi is going to be in the movie, but he wasn't able to come because of scheduling. So yeah. 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 Well, that, that gets rid of my ne- next question. Why Shry and not Navi? <laughs> yes, yes. Yep. So, oh, they're, they're a team. Yeah. And they're both so talented. There's no way. But. Well, what's, what's going to be great for the fans is they're going to be able to see Jason and Paul in a completely different light because uh, both Paul and Jason's uh, roles in, in the film are miles away from what they did on the show. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Leaps and bounds about, uh, beyond they actually get to really, really act and do some dramatic stuff, not just comedy in this one. So, Is there a tiny little bit of comedy for them? There's some comedic moments, yeah, for sure, but uh, it's mostly drama. <laughs> uh, we, we definitely have a, a comic relief character. Uh, and uh, so, there, I mean, there's, I mean, it, that was the fun thing about writing the script is trying to find the balance of, of action and drama and then also uh, being able to add some moments of levity. So, I mean, you know, it was fun. So. It's such an intense movie that there has to be some relief at some point. So, and they did a good job of that, of having some funny moments where you're like, oh, I get a little break for a second. <laughs> Sorry, Dave, I'm, I'm just looking at the posters around you as well. As, as we talk, and I can see a Power Ranger one on your right. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I never really got out of being like a 15 year old. I still decorate my, <laughs> my I like it. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me anything about the basic storyline of the movie? Um, well, uh, the order concerns itself with a, uh, a group of shadow agents, shadow operatives who uh, operate without any sort of government affiliation or support. Um, or, or acknowledgement. And, and these people have dedicated their lives with, to, uh, preventing uh, uh, Stop. any sort of threats to society. And what happens in the script is there's an event that happens that causes a split. And then these people that have been trained and dedicated and, and use all of their talents and skills to defense are now fighting against each other. So how do you, how do you defend somebody who knows everything about you, who knows everything that you can do, they can do just as well. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be a very uh, even matched. And, and, you know, when you get friends fighting friends, brothers fighting brothers, it's, it's something very tough. And I was touched on this, well, kind of in that you touched on it a little bit. Can you give us uh, a bit of an idea about, about the dynamics of either side. What are they fighting for? I mean, you probably can't tell us who's fighting who, but can you tell us what they're fighting for? You've probably seen on a lot of the social media we've been doing, the order versus chaos. So um, there's a a group that is trying to keep order and there's a group that doesn't want order, basically, (laughs) that they're trying trying to take power. Um, The the order is more about keeping order in society. Yeah, there's there's a clip that's been released uh, with Paul Schreier talking about his character and how his character has a very uh, noble ambition, uh, but his ambition uh, just ends up being very very dark, and mm-hmm. uh, his his solution <laughs> it doesn't end up well for a lot of people. So. Mm-hmm. 
How confident were you in the fans jumping on board, sharing the logo they knew nothing about, and then supporting the Indiegogo campaign? Was there a timeline to keep it all moving along at a good pa- at a good pace, and was there a backup plan if the first kind of promotion didn't work? Uh, but with social media, I know it's always touch and go. People are either going to jump on board, or they're just going to say, "No, it's not what we it's not what we want." You're lucky. Like, I guess you're lucky that everyone jumped on board pretty quickly. Yeah, well, I, I guess that would be more of a question for Karen and the marketing team. I mean, we, uh, all of us that were involved, in were were just sort of like all on board and and being very uh, supportive in their efforts. But they're the they're the ones who put the plan together and and have been, uh, you know, knocking it out of the park. I mean. Uh, yeah. The the first day when everybody had their their avatars and their icons changed, I mean, I, I don't know about Catherine, but I had so many messages. I had so That's many crazy. so many people yeah. you know, hitting us up saying, "What is going on? Have you been hacked? You know what's going on?" And so well, I was I'm, thinking it was Illuminati. That was the yeah, funniest. Yeah, thing. That was Illuminati. Awesome. They've gone Illuminati. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, I think I think they uh, they they nailed the you know right on the head. They got it right. So. And. I, I first found out about the logo because a pre- friend posted about it late at night on Facebook. Then, then it just got more and more attention. People kept asking questions and more info came out. Did you, you guys saw all of this happening, all this interest building online? Like, were you aware of it? Were you surprised, oh, yeah. surprised by the outpouring? Or? We weren't surprised because, um, we, I mean, the, the marketing team and Karen have, have really come up with they'd come up with a real plan for it so they we had known what their their plan was um but we i actually didn't know what was coming out each day so it was like a surprise to me and actually a surprise to a lot of people of like i I would wake up in the morning and be like oh i was like a fan like oh what are they going to post today you know because i wanted the surprise myself um and uh but i wasn't surprised because we we have such loyal fans um and and they're they Oh, they do not surprise me now. I've got after nine years of doing conventions, I'm always like, wow, and humbled by it. But um, we knew that you guys would be supportive. We just, we just knew you would. So, what platform will the movie be released on? It's not going to be released till next year. So I, I'm, I'm guessing you're going to put a lot of photos and different videos out there when you do start filming the actual movie. What will, where will people be able to watch it next year? Uh, well, I, I think the plan is, the hope is that uh, it'll be released into theaters. Um, uh, we're also exploring uh, online options, uh, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and that sort of thing. But uh, I think it would be great if we're actually able to, you know, all show up at a theater and sit down and, and watch it. I think that mm-hmm. would be great. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, I didn't even think about Netflix. I was like, are you going to put it, put it online? Are you going to try and go for things? I didn't even think about Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there, there are actually a lot of options these days, which is good. And finally, where can people go to support the project? I've been watching the Indiegogo campaign that keeps going up and up and up every single day. So where can people go to support that? And jump www.the-order-movie.com. Oh, or okay. if, if you don't remember that, you can go to Indiegogo.com and type in the order and yeah. it will come up and you can, you can look at our campaign that way too. That's where you can see the trailer and everything. If, if fans visit our social media stuff, it's uh, the, the information is on a lot of our posts on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. I mean, yeah, no, we all, whenever we post a picture, we post the links. So it's very easy to find. Guys, it's been absolutely brilliant. I wish you luck all the production and everything else. I look forward to seeing photos and videos online and come out to Australia soon. Oh, Thank we would love so to. Much. We would love to. David, we're going. <laughs> yes. We're going. Yes. Tell, <laughs> tell, tell Supernova we would love to come. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we would love to.